Follow all Moesu news on his website, www.mosu.com, on his Facebook and Instagram page too, for daily exclusive publications. Hello, welcome on Moesu. My name is Joel Borg, and today we are going to continue the basic video about the Yamaha CK. You have the 61 front of me with the Sant keyboard, and you have the 88 with the piano type keyboard of course and today we are going to talk about the shortcuts and the nice shortcuts we have on the Yamaha CK we have some very nice shortcuts I'm going to show you but just before I remind you you can shoot me also on my Moisio Facebook page it's called Moisio Instagram it's called Moisio 13 and on the website Moisio.com and if you are not a Moisio follower on YouTube click on subscribe and click on the bell to be informed when I release a new video Let's talk about the shortcut and the first one, that's not a joke, is not a shortcut, <laughs> yes. But I want to show you because this is really, 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 really an important thing that you need to know because sometimes you do some things and you have this nice live set and I will keep it like it is. And uh, you press on one of the buttons and you say, oh my God, I have done some settings. Uh, I have lose all the things I done. No, when you see this, stop, do it, anything go to menu go to job press enter and go here on the third line i, I let you see edit record this one you press enter you go to record i will not done and you press enter and you retrieve the sound you have edited just before made a mistake so this is not a shortcut but this is a very important thing to retrieve the sound and i can go to menu to go like this uh, with my nice Nice sound. So I go, I go, I change. Original sound is here. Okay. Let's see some other shortcuts. And I show you on the bonus on the on one video about the transpose and octave and explain to you that you go on the fly with some things you need to store. And you have a nice shortcut for things. We have not only one. If I press enter, most of the time the shortcut are with enter. Not always, but most of the time. Shortcut and I said transpose. I press two and you see sound transpose and on the top of the screen you see transpose plus one. And this transpose all the sound if I have a part B activate. It transposes the two, of course. But this setting you can store it in the live set. You can press store and store it. Of course, it's for the two, it's not like not shift. You cannot have one more, one octave or you can not do this, but for quick transpose and store on live set, you can do that. Okay, and if I do here and press minus, I come back and this is also the things I can set. I will be done. Transpose plus here, uh, I want to come to zero because here it's one. It's easy to go back, but if you are set plus four, just go to transpose one minus and plus. And it's come back to zero. But remember, the transpose plus one is on memory. So I really need to do that to change this one. Very important. If I want to store an octave change on the A and B, I can go on sounds, on edit and settings and sounds. Okay. But I can do this also. I can do press the A and say octave plus. And here, this is not shift directly you go on notch shift if i press b i can do like that and you have to change of course uh, this one i go like this and i come back like that and this set two settings i have done just before you can store them in your live set too so very great function and shortcut for the transpose and like we talk about live set you can select two in the same time, or three if you are free, and do some general settings for the two. You can set the filter.
for the two in the same time, of course, and you come back to the one and say, ah, oh, perhaps two more for this one, and you come back and rechange this one. And uh, very great to do these things. But you can do also one of the things. Here I have the A. This is the lead. I have the harmonica. This is the B. And you say, oh, for this song, I need to have the harmonica on the left. It will be better for me. And the violin on the right. Does I need to go on A to change and go search harmonica? To go on B and search violin? No. Just hit this. Press A and B in the same time. It switch. You see, harmonica go on part A. And I read on one of a time and I go harmonica like this. So very easy to change that too. If you want to initialize the live set, very easy. Ape show you in the TikTok live, but I will, I will not say go to see Ape on the TikTok live first emission we have done. And Peter, I have a show uh, you. You press enter and settings and it's initialize the live set. Does it mean that I have lose what, all what I done? No. Of course, I change things on harmonica, but the live set is not delete of, overwrite, I would say. It's not overwrite. It's just in a buffer memory that you initialize to start from zero. Okay? Sometimes when you're on stage, you want to make a break and you do not want someone come and touch the keyboard because sometimes it happens. We know people are like, oh, that's fine, fine, fine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cut on the mixer, <laughs> express mat, trust me. And if you want to block, if you enter plus menu and you see you have this little icon on the top that block the uh, things nobody can say ah, i will do things for it okay no he cannot of course when you do something you see on the screen but the, the guys come and do this and see <laughs> not really great guy <laughs> okay i'm not going actually on the mono and unison video but if you want to try and test a little bit i will do some video about this but Mono, Unison, you want to work with them, activate them, okay. You want to go not only by choosing the mono, but go deeper on the settings, enter, plus type, and you have the portamento type for the mono as example. Enter, plus type for the Unison, and you have the Unison Detune directly accessible for you. So, very nice shortcut, also like this. And here we have the live set one by one. I can change, okay. But you say perhaps I want to uh, to uh, here I cannot change the live set like that. And let's say I want to have the view uh, like like the voice, okay. So press the two the page the two page and know you have the live set view like that uh, to change what you need and you can go quicker like that to chat and I go to the. Ah, this one, <laughs> I need to remember. It was the, the first page and I press exit to come back and to see my normal uh, view like that. Okay, let's activate the C and on the C, I will go to the organ. Okay, I have the H, great for me. And we have a nice trick also for the organs because uh, when you set the vibrato chorus on the organ, and perhaps you want to uh, change and go from C3 to C2 and you say, okay, I need to do that. No. Enter and you go in the reverse way, just like that. So, depending on what you need to do, just press enter and press the vibrato type button. That's one of a great uh, shortcut to know. And if you want to know discovering or know deeper your Yamaha CK or one of the stage keyboard like the YCCP or Yamaha Sense like Montage, Modex, Modex Plus or John Mellas Software that work with all these kind of keyboards or audio modeling Camelot Pro because I work with them and you have all these keyboards with smart map inside audio modeling and you can do a lot of things in Camelot Pro with uh, your Yamaha Scent and Stage keyboard. You can ask me for more your masterclass. It's online through Zoom and you choose the topic we are going to work together. This is not a lesson A, B and C. You choose what you need and what we need to work. Go on video description and you have also information on video editing. Remember. I cannot work with all countries for uh, Yamaha CK and set uh, stage keyboard and John Melas, but with audio modeling, I can work all over the world because we work directly through the audio modeling platform. Okay, let's continue and go to the effect now. 
I want to do something else. I want to remove the C. I will add this. I will go for a lead sound. Oh, yes, I have a nice dancey hook. A very strong lead. Here with a nice delay. And perhaps the idea can be, perhaps you think, uh, I know dancey hook has a nice delay. And I want to have the this delay to my path A. But I only want that. After I will remove dancey hook. Uh, so does I need to go and dance the hook and shake all the delay set? No, we have a nice thing for this. Press enter plus the button here in the middle of the FX switch. And here we have switched the effects from the part B to part A and from part A to part B. All the effects need to take care of this. But no, I can remove this. I have the same delay setting that I have in Dancy Hook. It can be also good things it do for all the effects. Be careful of this. And uh, one of the great things for the effect, if I go here and I select the chorus and say, okay, I want to have a wah here on this one. And I need to use the type here. And uh, oh, I might pass all the chorus on the flanger, all the phase on the. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Does I need to do this? No, press enter. And you go directly one by one to the next category like that. And you go directly on the wah. Very uh, great shortcut. Two. I have one of them for the effect, but it's on the bonus time. And for the bonus. It's come from things I see on the web, I read on the web about the effect on the CK. Perhaps you see here on the effect, it's blinking. That means this is a tempo delay. And for the delay, you can adjust here the uh, tempo. If you know, if you work with backing tracks like me, you can set the delay to 120. I mean, but to have the first time. <laughs> So I will not work like this, but you can you can set the BPM you really need like that. And I see some people uh, on the web say, ah, oh, but we really need to have a tap tempo. There is no tap tempo button on the CK. Oh, damn it. Uh, perhaps we will ask this on ID scale, ask ID on ID scale, but not this one. Because if you take the manual and you read the manual about the shortcuts, you will see that we have a tap tempo already inside. It's just the enter button. Press the enter button and you have directly a tap tempo. No need for the operating system update. It's already inside here. Little bit far. Okay, let's see this one. Okay. That video ending, I hope you have liked it. If yes, please click on the blue thumb. It's very important for me because I am alone to do all of this on Mauricio. There is nobody that take me, shoot me with the camera or use a mic on the top of me. That's why I have a headset. And I do all the things, the subtitles, the thumbnails and the production on the website. I do all. So I really like when I have some likes. Like anybody, when we have likes, people say, okay, great. You like. Okay. And if you really want to thank me because you say, ah, here I have learned something that perhaps I will ask a Joel a masterclass. And in this video, finally, he provides the information I need. But really, I really want to thank him. You have the super thanks activate. You go to the bottom right of the video and you click on super thanks. You can make it's a kind of donation from two euros to what you want, of course. And it can help me to improve the channel by updating the licenses of the software for the video editing, for the website, all the kind of things, or to add some new gear, some new camera. As an example, thank you in advance if you want to do this. And if you want, and if you need a Moesio Masterclass, of course, you can ask. Remember, you have all information on video description and on video ending to come. See you soon. Bye. Would you like to discover, learn or improve your knowledge of your Yamaha synthesizer or stage keyboard? Book your Moesu Master Class now. Your private session is conducted online through Zoom. Take all benefit of Moesu expertise, Yamaha synthesizers and stage keyboard specialist for nearly 20 years and consultant for Yamaha Music Europe and France. As member of International Yamaha Tech Talk Live Team, 
and host of the Camel of Pro Sessions for Audio Modeling, Joel take care of your experience level. Whether you're a beginner or a skilled user, get the most out of your Yamaha synthesizer, stage keyboard, John Mela's software suite or Camel of Pro. Book your session from the Moesu Facebook page, use slots available in the service tab, or by email, moesu at orange.fr. This service is available in French and English, only for users who live in European Union. Camelot Pro 1 to 1 Masterclass are available for users all over the world through audio modeling platform. Thank you for watching this Moesu video. Do not forget to click on like, subscribe, and click on the bell to be informed when a new video is online. Do not hesitate to write a comment or ask a question. See you soon. Bye.